Uh, what's going on everybody in this video we're we'll looking at the top 10 programming languages for 2018 based on popularity um so let's get started um in at number 10 is kotlin and you probably have heard of it before but i haven't seen it in many lists uh, of top 10 languages um or big languages to learn for 2018 uh, but it is a new language-ish, you know, um, it's quickly gained popularity among uh, developers. Uh, you've probably heard about it, uh, just about everyone knows about it, uh, but it's in the top 20, it's like at number 17, but I, I see it going farther up in the rankings in the coming year, um, of course, that could be wrong. Uh, last year, people were saying Rust would come in to be the next big thing, but it really didn't happen. But we'll see about Kotlin, but I think it will. Um, and at number nine, we have PHP. It is a very popular language for web development. Love it or hate it. Uh, it is globally the most popular language for web development. And if you're in the States, this might sound outlandish because we're used to having JavaScript at the top. But PHP globally is steadily losing ground to JavaScript and other languages in the web development category. And that is why it is so far back in this list. Number eight is Swift. Swift is the uh, Apple flagship language for iOS Mac development. Um... If you're looking to get into um, development for iOS, um, Swift is the way to go. Um, Objective-C is still around, but Swift is just all in all stealing popularity um, from Objective-C, and they're basically on the same level now, and Swift will probably uh, take that main spot away from Objective-C um, next year for sure um, Swift is you know obviously Apple eco ecosystem is much smaller than the um, ecosystem for uh, Windows um, but it's still worthwhile um, to learn especially if you're looking to get into development for Apple devices number seven is C++ it's a very uh, popular language for desktop applications um, you know, it's just not going away anytime soon. Um, it's seen a slight drip in, uh, in the popularity re in the past year, but it it's just still not going away. Um, uh, so let's move on to number six is C. C is a very popular language, like the godfather of, or whatever we like to com compare it to, um, of all languages, uh, still a very popular language, just like C++. It's also seen a slight drop in popularity in the past year, but it's not going away, at least not next year. Um, number five is C Sharp. It's the Microsoft flagship language, and they've recently made it open source, all the better. Um, so. It took a slight drip this year, but I think it will probably rebound at least a little bit because it's open source and uh, new things will probably come out for it uh, pretty soon to make it uh, more easily accessible to people. Um, but let's move on to number four on this list, and that's Go. Go is the Google language. Um, uh, it's pretty decently new too, and it's quickly becoming a popular choice among web developers. Um, I mean, it's Google is always going to bring popularity to just about any language that they use. It's just how it happens. Um, but let's move on to number three, which is Java. And Java actually is the most popular language worldwide. Um, but it is steadily losing popularity, so uh, I can't put it at number one. It will probably lose its spot at the top 
of the language food chain um, probably next year or 2019 it's it's losing popularity uh, much like PHP but developers are starting to move away um, and then and at number two is JavaScript JavaScript the language of the web you could say it's the only language to run in the browser and is one of the most popular if not the most popular language for web development and I believe it's the most popular way language for web development uh, in the states that's what we're used to seeing so now obviously it's going to be pretty high up on this list and number one is Python it's the most popular language in many countries the second most popular globally uh, second most popular here in the states but it is poised to take away that top spot from Java globally um, and in the states next year and do just about anything for you and it's the fastest growing language by popularity according to the PyPL index at 5.8% growth in just the last year so I look for it to be um, very popular and very useful for you in the coming year as it can do things like web development, uh, GUI development, uh, scientific numeric, I mean it can do just about anything for you, so it's going to be very popular in the coming year. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Um, if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.